Hello everyone. Today we are going to be discussing the levels and branches of government. But before we get into that, I just want to review a little about the word government, just so we're, we're all starting from the same place. So if you look here at the word itself, you'll see that it has the root word is govern. To govern means to officially control a group of people. Uh, we're not talking about, you know, if, if you're the leader of your friends, you kind of tell everyone what to do and have all the ideas. We're talking about to make the decisions about laws and taxes and social problems and the army. Um, and then, so that is a verb. And then when we add on the suffix meant, that turns it into a noun. And that noun means the group of people who control and make decisions for a group of people. So whether we're talking about a country or a city or a state, the government is the organization or group of people who are making the official decisions about what's going to go on in that place. Now that we've got a basic understanding for what government is, we're going to talk about the different levels of government. Now this word levels, just so everybody's clear what we're talking about here. If I have a house, and hopefully the actual house is much nicer than my little drawing of a house, got a little door and some windows, windows up here, and my house has a basement underground. If we're looking at the levels of this house, we might say, okay, there's a level down here, and there's a level here, the first floor, and there's a level here on the second floor, and this house even has an attic. So in this house, there are one, two, three, four levels. And now we're going to look at government and how this idea of levels applies to government. So now that we have a basic understanding of what levels are, we can take a look at how these apply to government. What we see here are visual representations of the three levels of government. On top we see the United States of America, which is our country. And when we're talking about le levels of government, we use the term national government or federal government. So if you hear national or federal, they both pertain to entire countries. And at our next level down here in the United States, we have states. And you'll see our lovely state of Wisconsin. And remembering the name of the, the government level for this is fairly easy because it's just state government. And then, you see down at the bottom, you see our lovely Welcome to Stevens Point sign. And it's not just cities and towns. We're also talking about counties, villages, uh, the village of Plover or the village of Whiting would be examples of that. Um, cities like Stevens Point or Madison or Milwaukee. And counties like Portage County, Marathon County, uh, Wood County, uh, Trumpelo County, for example. And these are under just the broad term of local government. So again to review, when we're talking about levels of government, we've got uh, the national, federal level, and that's those are the big guys, and we get one level smaller, one level lower, and we're looking at the individual states, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Alaska, and then we get down to the, the local level, and we're getting city councils, county boards, um, village boards, all those 
organizations that make laws at the small local level. Next, we're going to go on and talk about the three branches of government we have here in the United States. When it comes to thinking of the branches of government, it really does help to think of a tree. You've got the whole big entirety of the tree, and it's all one thing. But as you go up, as you can see here, it divides off into one, two, three branches they're still a part of the tree but they're their own thing so keep that in mind as we go into the branches of government they're all a part of the same government they're all doing the same big job but just like the branches on the tree they're each going in their own direction so now we've zoomed in on our tree of government and we're going to look at just really quick what the three branches of government are and what they do. So first we have the legislative branch and their main job is to make laws. Um, the other two branches deal with those laws. The judicial branch they are tasked with the job of saying what those laws mean they have to interpret the, the the laws so the legislative branch makes the laws and it's the job of the judicial branch to tell us what those laws mean and the third branch is the executive branch and they their their job as defined for our purposes today is to make sure people follow the laws to enforce the laws so as the legislative branch makes the laws and then the judicial branch has told us what they mean it's up to the executive branch to make sure people are following those those laws so as you go into class you'll be hearing about both the levels of government and the branches of government. You're welcome to come back and watch this video as many times as you want to help you remember the difference between those two categories and what goes on inside.